I'll bring you a video of the Target Individual Program. I'm really gonna look at the pep across the street. As soon as I came out the apartment, oh, are you moving now, bro? Yeah, as soon as I come out the uh, apartment building, <coughs> across the street, said nah, and they put it, put his hands over his head. <laughs> okay, you know I can do like the, um, you know the, the hand signal where you put their hands behind their head. Uh, that's what he was doing. As soon as I came out, perps. Yeah, go back in, buddy. Go back in. <laughs> Anyhow, so the New York Predator Department last night I was doing my video. You know, I guess they didn't. Uh, oh, look. 4324660. If they if there's not a license plate, they're write it on there. Right? They are what they they will write that shit on on a car. Or you're gonna be on some sign or some shit. Because that's what they do. Uh oh. I why did I know I was gonna meet my next door neighbor? I was talking to her last night, you know, one of the guys that I usually chat to and you know, educate, try to educate. She was out there, you know. Uh, so, of course, they're gonna, she's gonna be out here. But this is what they do. I'm telling you, it, they, they, their tactics is all the same, you know. Look, 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 look she's stepping from behind her. Look, stick his finger in his ears. Why? Next door neighbor right here. I tell you. <laughs> stick my fingers in my ears. As I walk by you, and this is what they do. Again, ain't no fear here. Y'all yeah, not going to uh, intimidate me. Okay, that fear-based programming shit. That shit is done. That shit is done. Let me look at his watch. That shit is done. All right, don't fall for that shit. Not happening. Oh, that's fine. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Okay, that shit is done. That shit is done. <laughs> you know, they think they can use her to engage in targeting. They try to, they try to fix me up with her. Like, hell, no, not interested. I'm not interested. Look, look. I'm looking at the window, I'm looking at the, my next door neighbor. <laughs> They'll never learn, do they? They never learn. All right. Like I say, they never, they never learn, do they? They never learn. Well, gotta keep teaching them. I right, gotta keep making, awakening their minds. Gotta keep giving them a level of some consciousness. Wheelchair, <laughs> got a wheelchair. All right. Yes, King. All right? They never learn, do they? That's okay. That's okay. You know, when you, people, again, when they've been brainwashed, they've been manipulated psychologically. When, you ha when they have no identity in terms of knowing their history. All right? They have an identity, they have a name. You know, we're black people or have you, but their history has been stolen, has been not even lost, stolen, hidden, okay, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there's this Egypt, this guy who's supposed to be an Egyptologist, Arab, of course, you know, posting all this shit, but they only talk about Egypt during the Greek and the Roman uh, Uh, time right or uh, the invasion right <laughs> of uh, Greece and then uh, Rome so they only they're focused on those periods right but Kemet has been a uh, chem Kemet you know like it's, it's not Kemet it's chem I'm like well did you go and look at the original spelling of Egypt huh <laughs> do you correct people from using the original spelling of Egypt because you do know there was an A before the E, right? Yeah. Look, look, look. <laughs> they got them hidden in the corner there. 
using them with their daughter. Look out across the street. A Hispanic woman right there, uh, her daughter. Got them hidden there. And they got the black Sambina across the street. All right, like I said, keep doing it. Keep doing it. I got y'all. <laughs> I got y'all. Keep on doing it. Anyhow, so I, I, I post a video from uh, by uh, Robert Bavall. Robert Bavall, he's an Egyptian. Okay, he's the one that realized that the ancient chem ancient black Africans, I should say, when they build the pyramids and they line the pyramids up, look. License plate JMT 32, uh, 33. Go the street, right where she's standing. That's why she's standing there. <laughs> Right? Um, and, uh, you know, so he discovered that, you know, it lines up with the, with the stars. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> when I post, uh, you know, Count Vaughnay, CF Count Vaughnay, and he talks about the Ethiopians and Egypt being a colony of, or Kemet being a colony of Ethiopia, right? And how uh, in Ethiopia you had two kinds of hieroglyphics, and in Kemet you only had one. But one of the two in Ethiopia is older than the other one, right, in which both you can find in Ethiopia and Kemet, but only the other one you can find in Ethiopia. So they tell you, right, they, they will tell you, Robert Marcy, Messi, you know, know that people who built Kemet are the pyramids were black. Okay? So, you know, they, they make money off of our culture. They co-opted our culture. They didn't care that they left those, they left the monuments, the pyramids buried under the sand. Okay? Buried under the sand until the French and the British came. And then they realized that, hey, they can make money off of it. They were robbing the graves. Okay? How many, fair, how many kings and queens are in private collections? Right? No one goes into Europe and dig up their kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have that. Right? But that's what they did. The Arabs conquered Egypt in the 7th century. That's, they don't want to talk about that. You know? They talk about it, it's their culture. How's it your culture? Your, the, the culture there is Greek. Asian culture, black Africans. Right, then Greek and then Roman. And again, and the Roman and Greek, their culture comes from the Africans. Okay? So they may have occupied the land, but they didn't build anything except for, I would say, uh, Alexander to build the Library of Alexander. But that's about it. The Romans didn't build shit because it wasn't their culture. Egypt was a strategic point for them because, again, food. Right? And a stronghold against any invaders. Right? Again, that's why it took the Arabs so long to take Egypt from the Romans. And again, at that time, Egypt uh, was in the decline. Right? An even further decline, I should say. So when the Arabs came in the 7th century, up until over a thousand years, they didn't care about the monuments. They didn't care because it's not, it wasn't their culture. But when they found out they can make money from it, then it became their culture. And I'm like, you you trying to say Cleopatra is your is your ancestors? Okay, she's African and Greek. She's the Arab. Mark Antony, Julius Caesar, they're Romans. They're not Arabs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when they try to claim ancient Egypt as theirs, as as the ancestral lineage. You gotta laugh because these people are totally delusional. But like I said, but because we as black people have been placed at the bottom of society within the world, 
You got a hand signal, get out the back. Right? <laughs> right? That they think that they can do whatever they want. Right? And like I said, with Africa, black Africans, African nation, come into consciousness like Burkina Faso, Niger, and, and others, and use their resources, right? Improve their country, educate their people, train their people, build up military, offensive for, for offensive and defensive capabilities. You'll see a different tone from these Arabs, particularly the ones in Egypt. Okay? Black people, even black people here in America, when we make it known that we are not going to tolerate any more of the behavior towards us by these racists, then you'll see how, how, how they change. Then you will see and understand. Then they will see and understand. Okay? But too many of our people, particularly our elites, are too selfish, have no sense of social responsibility to the people in their group. And as long as they can keep those of us who want to do things for black people, create businesses for black people, to benefit black people, and to realize the importance of ownership and keeping what we create, whether it be an invention or a business, then we will realize and see the economic upliftment of our people. But we need people that understand the truth, that are conscious enough and aware enough of what's being done so that they wouldn't be bought out just because they put money in their face. And understand is they will do everything to try to destroy their, their businesses. Right? But black people have to understand what's going on and support these people. Particularly if they're doing things for, to benefit us as a group. All right? This is what we must understand. So, anyhow. So like I said, they will use their, the, my neighbor, <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, I was talking to her last day. All of a sudden she went, you know, we were talking and she's like, all of a sudden she's acting like she's conscious. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, you got a little bit of consciousness. And all of a sudden, I, you know, you want to have a, a conversation, right? And again, they use this dude. They're like, oh, come, let's have a conversation. Let's talk and this and that. And they try to <laughs> fix me. I don't know, thank you. Not interesting. Not interesting. Okay. But again, this is what they do. This is what they do and this is how they behave. Like I said, I am not tolerating this anymore. All right, they can go ahead with the psych psychological shit, that's fine. But the minute they start to get physical, okay? Remember, I have a right to defend myself. I've proven of what they have been doing to me, okay? And even with the psychological warfare against me, I have a right to defend myself against that by any means necessary, okay? But I choose not to because I, that is not who I am. But I will defend myself physically as well as psychologically, I, I've been doing. So they can go ahead with a little success, but keep it in that realm. But the minute you become physical, it's when all hell breaks loose. And I literally mean all hell breaks loose. Okay? Anyhow. Uh, also, I got a text from Pam. She slept late. She texted me at uh, 10.30 that she's leaving the house. All right, 10.30? Yeah, we'll check it. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same dude. Right? This is what they do. Oh, look at her though. Yeah. Turn around and stick her finger in her mouth. I want you to understand, again, the targeting that's going on, what it is that they do. I'm sticking up my middle finger to it. Okay. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> There's something else, man. There's something else. Black people, let me tell you, I was just saying black people, nigger peons. Nigger peons are something else. You know. But you can't blame them. You can be mad at them, but you can't blame them. Okay? At least not totally. Not totally. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I wonder how long a local bus is going to come now. Alright? <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to take for uh, uh, a local bus to come. But anyhow, that's what they do anyway. You know, like I said, it's all the same shit. 
all the same shit. Yeah, the tap is yeah. Anyway, let me check out the bus station. I'll talk to you guys next week.